text about uh, attributes. So in this example, I'm going to go through, we're looking at uh, an emergency vehicle. And an emergency vehicle is, is a reasonably unique vehicle in that it has the ability to uh, turn on a siren or have flashing lights. And so for most vehicles, we don't care about if they are making noise or if they have lights flashing on their roof. Uh, but for an emergency vehicle, that's, that's really important because we need to behave differently when they are in this kind of active state. Um, so we look for both audio information and visual information to try and determine if something is active. And so uh, in this clip, we have some audio information up the top. And if you squint your ears a little bit, you can hear the emergency vehicle coming. Uh, down the bottom left here, we have probability of, of a siren being active, which is almost at 100%. It's getting quite loud. We go to enter the intersection, but we're not quite brave enough to do so until they pass. Uh, to try and be nice and safe. Um, and then you'll notice this graph here is also think, uh, uh, highlighting the relative motion of the object as well. So as the vehicle is oncoming, uh, we can track that it's coming towards us, and then once it passes, we can see that it moves into, into a receding state, um, and we're able to then follow behind uh, that object um, once it's safe to go. Um, so emergency vehicles are a really challenging problem in that you need to have very high recall. If you miss an emergency vehicle and you don't yield to it appropriately, that can be a very problematic situation. Uh, 